a wonderful day today. The smell of spring is well and truly in the air. And on my run this morning, I could just hear lawnmowers going, birds singing, the sun was shining. It just, it just felt like spring. And at the moment, I'm feeling quite optimistic, the most optimistic I've felt for a long time. I don't quite know why. I think I'm just excited just to see the back of winter. Both mine and Laura's mums have had the vaccine. There's just plenty of stuff to feel good about at the moment. And I'm using that positive energy to get stuff done around the house. So I don't know if you can relate to this, but do you ever feel that there's just an endless amount of jobs to finish around your house? Now, this is one of the ones that needs doing in our house. It's actually in the garden. So actually, I've got loads of stuff to take down the tip. So the grass is starting to get a bit unruly again, so I think I'm gonna have to have a cheeky mow today, which I'm quite looking forward to actually. Um, I put these up, these boards, these pallet boards up against the, uh, against the garage last summer and they've just all come down. I used something called Bostick Sticks Like Shit. Um, and it doesn't, it, it literally is shit. So I'm going to have to think of a way to probably screw and plug them back into the wall. I'm going to dig these borders out. I'm going to put some different shrubs there. And the plan is along this side, we're going to have some flower beds, raised beds going up that side. Um, obviously, we've got all the wheelie bins in the garden at the moment. Um, so I'm hoping that by March the 1st, this garden is going to be ready for spring. So as for now, I'm going to try and tidy up a bit, get all this stuff in the uh, in the car, and we're going to do a tip run. So that's today's today's jobs. So that's this afternoon's jobs done really. Uh, I don't think we're gonna have time to go down the tip now because it's nearly four o'clock, three o'clock and we've got a wedding ring designer. Come down, <laughs> you see the door open then. <laughs> she decided not to come out. So we've got our wedding ring, um, our, we our wedding rings being delivered in a minute. So this is what I've done, been doing. So I've just repaired The cladding uh, on the side of the garage, it will need a few touch-ups, uh, but ignore the dead plants for now. Um, two things, first of all, does anyone know any shrubs that don't need daylight that work really well in shade? Because this part of the garden doesn't get a lot of sun. So anybody's green finger, that let me know anything that will thrive there. And secondly, the cladding that we have put up here, we put that up last summer, and that's just little off cuts of pallet wood and it's it's inspired by the rooftops of Bruges because that's one of mine and Laura's favorite places in the world isn't it and that's our little homage to Bruges is just a little uh, and the gables of the um, Bruges building so now it's time to get that springtime smell and uh, probably die of hay fever so uh, yeah let's cut the grass
so I'm just about to head out to give my, my Canon uh, a little bit of a test because it's been so long since I shot with my 35 1.4 Canon. So I've just got a bit of a hankering just to go and get a bit of low light stuff. So I'm gonna head into Worcester onto the bridge. I'm not gonna vlog, I'm just gonna get a load of footage. I'm gonna try and take a photo of the cathedral handheld. So no tripod or no long exposure. I'm gonna see you know, what it can do and um, everything you're about to see will be shot with this combo. Canon 35. ESR by me and I just banged it on the banister. We're back in the office and that was really really fun little way to spend half an hour just got some some quite nice shots using the ambient light in the city centers there's normally quite a lot of light even when all the daylight's gone because of the street lights and stuff and what I do like particularly about it are the different colors of the lights I also got to thinking I think this might be my favorite time of the year for photography because it's you know, not even seven o'clock and I'm done. And I guess that would class as a evening shoot. So sunset is what, half past five at the moment, if that. Sunrise is half seven. So nothing too brutal, especially if you like me and you you don't like unsocial sun, sun sunrises and sunsets. So yeah, do, do you like it? Do you, do you get up at 3 a.m. for a sunrise or? Do you prefer a nice leisurely half past seven? -er? So that's it for today's vlog. I'm going to put you guys down and I'm going to start with the edit now of today's vlog. I'm going to get everything packed and charged for tomorrow's property job, which I'll be bringing you along with, which I'm looking forward to, to showing you guys what I'll be up to. So take it easy wherever you are in the world. I hope you've had a good day. I will see you on the next video, whatever that's going to be about. Although I think I do know what it's going to be about. Anyway, see you soon. Since I've seen the sun to be bright again